Hey families, welcome back to week nine, our very last week of our creation series. Hey, this has been an awesome adventure walking with you over the past nine weeks to talk about creation and take a look at our shout out for this week. Hey kids, it's Pastor Austin here with this week's Big Truth. And in fact, it's the last Big Truth in our series of creation. So are you ready for this week's Big Truth? The Big Truth this week is the story is under God's control. The story is under God's control. We've also been talking about hope. And that's our focus for this entire year for kindergarten, first, and second grade is where we see hope in scripture and hope in the story. And there is no greater hope in knowing that the story is under God's control. So where is that big truth found? It's in our Bible verse for this week. It's Psalm 138, 8. And this is what Psalm 138, 8 says. The Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. Your steadfast love, O Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the work of your hands. Let me read that again. Psalm 138, 8 gives us hope because the story is under God's control. And this is what it says. The Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. Your steadfast love, O Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the work of your hands. Hands. So as we see that Bible verse, we understand a little bit more that the story, creation, fall, redemption, new creation, the redemptive story, it's all under God's control. So we have, uh, give you an example of that. Um, so I don't know about you guys, but I like to use glue because things break, right? So I don't know if you're kind of sitting there and maybe uh, boys and girls that you've ever broken anything in your house, um, just go ahead and kind of raise your hand um, because I have a feeling that that has probably happened at some point or another that you, maybe your parents too, have broken something in your house. And so what Pastor Austin likes to do when something breaks is I don't throw it away, I like to use glue because I want that thing to work again or to be right again. And so for the most part, it works. Now sometimes it doesn't, but why do we use glue? Okay, and this is a pretty, pretty uh, hefty uh, amount of glue here. But why would we use glue? It's because we want something to be securely fastened or to be securely put together so that it works again or that it does what it's supposed to do again. So that actually kind of helps us maybe illustrate and think about our big truth this week is that the story is under God's control, which also means it's secure. We don't have to worry about uh, the story. In fact, it's probably really good news that the story is not under our control because in our sinful nature, we would mess up the story. So I have four big ideas for this week and they kind of just really um, unpack and really tie everything together that we've been talking about over the past nine weeks. So our first big idea this week is that God has a purpose for all creation. God has a purpose for all creation and that's good news for you and for me. Also, as we've just talked about, that the story is secure, that God's story is secure, that nothing can change it, nothing can break it, nothing can happen to it because God has it secure. Third big idea this week is that the story is bigger than our lives. The story is way bigger than ever, anything we could ever possibly imagine. It's bigger than our lives. And finally, the story exists. Our lives, our purpose, the story exists for God's glory and our good. God's glory and our good. In fact, our Bible story this week talks about someone who you can really see that 
on display in his life. It's the life of Joseph. Now it's found in lots of different chapters in the book of Genesis. So it's found in Genesis chapter 37 and then also 39 through 46. So lots of different chapters. So I encourage you guys over the course of this week, take some time every day to read some of that with your family together the life of Joseph. And you're going to see that the life of Joseph does this and this and this. But what you see over a long period of time in Joseph's life is that God's story, Joseph's story, even in this particular passage, is under God's control. That God is doing something for his glory and our good in the story. Take a look at the life of Joseph. He displays that so well of what God is doing. and It's so much bigger and goes even beyond the life of Joseph that God has a purpose for his entire creation. Hey, hope you guys have had a great adventure studying creation together. And I'm talking about this week about our big truth that the story is under God's control. Right now, I'm going to send it to Mr. Brandon with our home hook for this week. Hey boys and girls, Mr. Brandon here with this week's Home Hook. And for this week, I need you guys to grab a few things. I need you to grab an empty box, a roll of tape, and just some important things that you guys have around the house. Maybe your favorite toy or mom and dad, maybe your cell phone or your car keys, like I have here. What we're going to be talking about today is that God's story is secure. It means everything that happens is in God's control. Nothing that happens changes God's story for our lives or God's ultimate story as we're talking about through the family discipleship of creation, fall, redemption, and new creation. So what I want you to do is take, take the box and the important things that you have and just place them inside the box. And then close the box up and tape it shut. So the things that you put in there, the things that you hold important, are secure. Just like God's story for our life is secure. Mom and Dad, continue the conversation about how God is in control of everything. And we'll see you guys next week and up next with our Go Challenge. Does your life have a mission? According to Jesus, every disciple of his has been sent with a purpose. In John 20, 21, after his resurrection, Jesus made a strong statement to his disciples. He said, as the Father has sent me, I also send you. At Tri-Cities, we send disciples to our neighbors and the nations to proclaim the gospel and to make disciples. Our everyday moments become go moments when we seize opportunities to make Jesus known. We send disciples on go trips to proclaim the gospel. Go trips are strategic short-term opportunities working with partners in places like Denver, Colorado and Kampala, Uganda. In February, I had the awesome privilege and the opportunity to be a member of a go trip to South Asia. On that go trip, I got to see firsthand the faithfulness of our brothers and sisters in South Asia to make Jesus known. We send disciples on go seasons to proclaim the gospel around the world. Go seasons are strategic midterm opportunities from two months to two years in duration. We send disciples on go stays to proclaim the gospel in countries across the globe. Go stays are strategic long-term mission appointments lasting at least two years or more. So, here's your Go Challenge. Live today as one sent by the Lord Jesus with gospel advancing purpose.